Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to the class. I'm your teacher, Crocodile Death Speed. As you know, if you watched the trailer, or as you could have guessed uh, by reading the video title, today's lesson will be about memes, and more precisely, what exactly is a meme? We're gonna define the term that, for some of you, may be mysterious, for some of you may be familiar, but I hope that both of you can learn something in today's lesson. Memeology 101. Meme. The word itself was created in 1976 by the American scientist Richard Dawkins, which got famous in the States for being an atheist, which is quite an oddity over there, uh, and he made up the word in his book The Selfish Gene. The concept was expanded in 1985 in the book Metamagical Themas, Questing for the Essence of Mind and Pattern, I'm not making this up, it's the real title, by Douglas Hofstater. The meme, in its original scientific meaning, is now recognized as uh, one of the key concepts of anthropology, or at least that that is what Wikipedia says. The word itself uh, is based on the Greek word mimema, meaning uh, imitation, and which gave us the verb such as mimic or mime, and modeled after the word gene. So there's a joke around the internet when people say that memes are the DNA of the sow, well, if you look at the scientific definition, it's not really a joke. Uh, it's actually close to the original meaning. The more you know. To simplify things, uh, this means that memes are to a culture what DNA is to a population. It's, it's a simplification, but it gives you the idea. Uh, this links, by the way, the term to its cousin, uh, viral content. Because viruses uh, use genetic code to make proteins into your cells' ribosomes to replicate themselves. So these metaphors are more connected than you think. Early examples of memes, I'm not, of course, talking about the first memes, which have begun w when civilization began, obviously, but uh, I'm talking about early examples as in long before the internet. Uh, actually, a lot come from the works of uh, Shakespeare, like the expression, uh, my kingdom for a horse, which has been uh, used, copied, combined, transformed. For example, if you are really thirsty, you could say, my kingdom for a glass of water. Uh, it's something that people say. And it comes from the play uh, Richard III uh, by William Shakespeare. So it's um, it has been taken off its uh, original context. Uh, reused in a different context, transformed, a horse be becomes glass of water or a rope if you're uh, in a pit or uh, whatever. It's been used a lot uh, in uh, literature and in uh, everyday conversations uh, throughout time. So that's, that's a really good example of a meme. Uh, uh, other from the same uh, person's works could be uh, the expression uh, full circle. It has come full circle. Uh, we use that for a lot of things, but originally it was from the play King Lear. And uh, if you just met someone and don't know how to begin conversation, you might have used an icebreaker. Well, the expression break the ice also comes from Shakespeare play. Uh, which this one is the Taming of the Shrew. A much more recent example uh, would be the Andre the Giant stickers, uh, which you have probably seen many times in every street corner of every city you've ever been in. Uh, it's, uh, it's been go going for a long time. It started in uh, 1989. And here is a picture that I took uh, just a few days ago in the streets of my city. Uh, I didn't put the sticker myself, I just found it and uh, it was created by a, a young uh, um, graphical artist uh, as a kind of a joke and uh, it 
it went viral. F funny thing about uh, this one is that uh, some years later, he had to uh, re redesign it uh, to um, make it uh, more uh, distant from the original uh, personality of uh, Andre the, the Giant. And so uh, what he did is that he simplified it and he removed the text and he just uh, put obey under it. He made the traits of uh, Andre uh, more uh, simplified. And uh, this one, uh, the, 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 the new version with uh, no text, just uh, the uh, obey thing, uh, went even more viral uh, than the, the, the first version, uh, which was uh, Andre the Giant has a posse. And uh, I think it's funny. Now this uh, Andre the Giant sticker uh, is from, uh, I said, uh, 1989 which uh, was after the invention of the internet, but before the invention of the, of the World Wide Web. From the same era, which is uh, before the invention of the web, but after the one of the internet, uh, there have been a lot of memes that circulated not online, but from uh, word of mouth, uh, like uh, this tape will self-destruct in five seconds from Mission Impossible, or resistance is futile from Star Trek, um, even after the invention of the web, uh, they have, there have been some uh, memes that circulated more from word of mouth uh, than uh, online. We've uh, heard it, said it, but um, it didn't propagate uh, because of the internet. Uh, for example, uh, there's the, this famous quote, uh, is that your final answer uh, from uh, who wants to be a millionaire? So that is the definition of a meme. It's a cultural element that is shared, copied, transformed, combined through word of mouth or as uh, we are going to talk more about through the internet. Now, internet memes are a bit different because they are somehow a self-aware. Before the internet, People used memes, but without noticing that they were doing it. They weren't doing it con consciously. It was uh, more a way of communication, just uh, something uh, to, to spice up dialogue between people. But it, it wasn't, people weren't really aware of it. And uh, now that we have defined them, we have a name for them that we, many people uh, use every day. And that makes them a bit different. Uh, some people also think that uh, they are different because they are transmitted mainly through technology and uh, they exist more in our computers than in our minds. And uh, these people propose the term team, uh, T-E-M-E, -E, uh, the T for technology, but that did not catch on at all because that was stupid. Uh, because when we talk about the internet, we're not talking about technology. We're not talking about a tool or a computer. We're talking about the content, which is more a massive extension of our minds than it is a piece of technology or an object at all. Now that they're not limited by word of mouth or physical supports, uh, memes have kind of uh, expanded and they can be image, text, music, video, or any combinations of this. A meme has to be recognizable, but it does not have to be funny. We'll talk more about this in upcoming videos. About memes having to be recognizable. There is, especially since 2015, a big trend of uh, that some have dubbed the post meme era where meme has a larger meaning and is used for a lot of stuff uh, such as uh, shitposting and alms and it kind of transcends uh, the concept of memes as we talked about it we are not going to talk about this on this channel at least if we do it won't be soon uh, because this channel is more about the history of the internet and the history of memes. And uh, I don't really want to talk about recent trends 
because uh, I don't really like the idea of talking about events as they are unfolding. The post-meme era is still really in flux and hasn't solidified yet, so I'm not going to talk about it anytime soon. I would rather look at the past to see how things were and how they have evolved. And uh, talking about looking at the past, this is uh, where we are heading in our next video, where we are going to talk about the very first internet memes, how it all began. Stay tuned.